Well, there was a very dilapidated billboard that nobody acknowledged at all. It wasn't going to go away. I, I, I knew that if it fell into the wrong hands, it would probably be a disaster. And I saw it more of as, a, as an art piece than advertising. And so I stripped all the panels off, ran them to the dump, cleaned up all the way around it, picked up all the old electrical and the junk that they, the, the sign guys had left for the last 40 years and hauled it to the dump so I could make nice. My dream is to make it a, a gateway. When you get to that point, you know you're in truth or consequences. And so we're going to landscape it and make nice, make it really nice and lovely and something people want to look at. They don't have to look at it, you know. And it's kind of like a one-act play, but there's a lot of time there. And you have like a three or four second view. So that's the other fun thing about it. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Then you got to start looking at the road again. Most billboards are like a one second view a lot of times. So that's kind of fun. And uh, so my vision is to um, really make it lovely, force people or make them want to look up at it if they're locals, if they're out of towners. Or I want them to look at, look at it and go, what? Why is that there? And have them ask that question in their mind. And hopefully other things will reveal themselves in truth or consequences as they drive through. They'll look at it a little differently just by seeing that first. Murals. What they represent to me is art that more people see than art in a museum or an art gallery. They're the people's art. And the views on those are way higher than, you know, most people don't go into art galleries. We don't have museums around here. And, you know, I mean, there's great works of art, but you have to go to see them. Whereas a mural is a gift to the city. Everybody gets to enjoy it. It's a very egalitarian thing. And I love that about these things. These, you know, the, the murals I've done around town are really, they're the people's artwork. Once we get it up there, you, you suffer in silence. It's like writing a song, you know, but then once it gets on the wall, it's for everybody. And you can't change it. There's no take backs. So that's kind of a fun thing about the whole process of doing murals. And I like to do things that have a bit of archival value. Uh, you don't get tired of looking at them like a graffiti or... You know, some people are enamored with graffiti or real bright splashes, but they don't wear well. I mean, they're fun for a while, and then you start to look at it and not look at it anymore. Whereas a really good piece of art will survive the test of time. Well, anyway, the question was, what is my connection to Truth or Consequences? I've been coming down here for 20 some odd years and traveling through. I have a friend that lives here, so we visit with him. and always kind of was enamored with this quirky little town that we drove through. And then three years ago, we decided that we were tired of shoveling snow in Evergreen, Colorado. And it was time to look for a, well, we'd been looking, but trying to really nail down a nice winter house where we could kind of resort to. And uh, we looked in Tucson, we looked in Prescott, we looked all over Arizona. It just, it was, it was a little too far from Evergreen. We needed to kind of keep it within a day's drive of Evergreen and this just kept landing. It kept landing right here. Whenever you put the dot on the map, this was it. So we are the center of the universe here and truth or consequences, New Mexico.